Hey, so the question today was, how do I do those uh, little tricks that people use on e-commerce stores to help make more money, put more money in the cart, right? I've seen people do those little like add-ons and, and stuff that happens after checkout, like, what, how do I do that, right? So here is an example, right? You take a look at this. This is a totally fake sample stuff. This has nothing to do with the fact that I am building a 35 lesson course, but let's just say there was a 35 lesson course on e-commerce for store builders, right? So you, you're like, hey, save time and money, right? You see this request invitation. You're like, what's that about? But we're gonna go through, right? You're gonna have little, these are the features of the course, et cetera, et cetera. You're gonna have quotes, right? And then you're gonna have the buy now. Now, the buy now, and the buy now up here and the request invitation are all gonna go to the same place, right? And you're thinking, oh yeah, you're gonna buy, right? You're gonna take them to the cart. You go, no, no, you're gonna stop people. You're gonna say, no, I'm sorry, you can't get access. But do you want early access? Do you want an invitation? Do you want something? The psychology of this, right, is that you put up a small barrier, a little bit of friction to make sure that the people really want it. They want it more and they're ready to act more once they get access to this, right? So what happens is they click on this and oh, we do not give them the invite, right? We are like, hold on a second, right? Now I need to collect some information from you, right? Uh, you, know, I've, you know, I've never built a store. For some reason, that doesn't look like it's giving me the actual text show up, right? Then I'm gonna put in my email, right? And request access, right? And it's gonna say, hey, check your inbox, right? So I go, okay, well, now I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna look at my inbox and I get an email that says early access, right? Here's a link and it's gonna ask me to click on a link. That link is gonna take me over to this URL right here, right? Instead of showing you my email. And it says, oh, look at this, right? Now notice that, again, these are the little tidbits, right? Where it says, hey, what's the URL? The URL is pricing. So my request invite basically puts them in my email, put, you know, does the integration to ConvertKit, gives, sends an email back with a link, they click the link, and now they're here. And they see the link, it says pricing, right? The button in the email said, get early access. They come to the URL, it says pricing, so they think, okay, I'm not ready to make a commitment yet, right? But here we go, right? Of course, it'll pay for itself in the first e-commerce store you build. There's some text, here's a guarantee, right? There's a video, you're gonna, you know, all the protection. And look at this, right? This is a different look to your standard checkout if you're used to WooCommerce, right? So we got a single column of data, right? None of the extra stuff. We did not ever see the cart, right? We didn't ever see, like you're, you're noticing, wait, this is a completely different way to get to a checkout than what you normally see with WooCommerce. And this is, by the way, WooCommerce, right? So here you go, you're gonna put in your information, et cetera, right? So, so let's say I do that. And as I'm doing this, you're realizing that that's not where I really live, but that's okay. We're in test mode. All right, and it uh, looks like they're gonna need my phone number. And my email, right? And it's gonna say, hey, the online course 299. Notice that in the video, in the description, the text, and you could layer more and more panels here, right? That I don't have to get to the price until the end, right? And I go, here it is, it's, it's $299, right, for this course. And you go, okay, now you can do other things, right? You can make discounts, you can, you, I mean, there's a, a world of things you can do, but what I wanna focus on, right, um, is what happens after this card area, right? So we'll do, um, notice this, the best business model guide for e-commerce, $39. This is called an order bump. It's that way to just go, hey, um, I know that you're buying this, if you're buying this, right, then you should really think about buying this other thing. Plus, look at the fraction of the price, right? $39 versus $299. So you go, oh, that's that's good. Yes, let me add that, right? And you'll notice up here, it just added it. And you go, okay, now I'm gonna place my order. I got my money back guarantee, refund policy, right? Edit that text. And I go to place the order. And when I place the order, right, what you're gonna see happen is this guy goes and processes and does whatever, right? Is you're gonna say, wait, wait, wait. Hey, before you leave, right? Do you want to join my six month e-commerce mastermind, right? Six months of monthly meetings, advanced tips and tricks. This is an upsell, right? They've already done the checkout, but
but now you have an upsell and it's a single click, right? So you just go, hey, add this to my order, okay? And they're like, okay, we're processing the order. Oh, look, there we go. Now, what if I had said no thanks, right? What if I say no thanks? If I say no thanks, right, I get a downgrade or offer, right? Like a, hey, you know, if you're not ready to join the mastermind, maybe doing a one-on-one -on -one store review makes sense. And you'll see here, right? Normally $4.99, but now it's 85 85% off. It's only $69. Add that to my order, right? And you're going, how? How do you do this? How like WooCommerce doesn't come with this? Let me show you, right? What you'll remember at the beginning of this, right? And 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 you should see, right? If I go to if I go to the, the general shop, all those extra products that we've been playing with, right? That order bump that we saw for the, the guide and the upsell offer, the downsell offer, they're not in my store, right? They're not showing up here. That's, not, that's important because I don't want people to be able to buy those unless they're in the right flow. But if you come in here, right? Sample site, this is where I test a lot of Elementor stuff. And so you'll see it's Um, If I go into my products, you're gonna see all those products here, right? You're gonna see the online course store. That's when we were talking about. Normally $4.99, discounted now to $2.99, right? And what we could have done is shown 499 slash 299. We could have done that too. Um, here's the, uh, the the order bump, right? 69 normally down to 30, uh, 39. Then you have the mastermind for 249 and you have the store review at 69, right? Four products, but you only saw one main one in the store. And you're like, okay, so how is this playing out? Well, you'll remember when we we didn't go to these product pages, right? If, if we go and take a look at this, right? We, we didn't go to this page. You never saw that page, right? That's the standard WooCommerce stuff. We didn't go there. We went to something different, right? And that's how you see this line right here, cart flows, right? We're using a product called cart flows to make this happen. So this is all about course selling. So here you go, the course, the get access, the pricing, everything else. And you go, okay, so this is a landing page. That's the course we saw. Remember that? That's This was this, right? This was the page, the landing page we created. Now, it automatically, those buttons automatically get connected to whatever you put next in this flow, right? Hence the no notion of a flow. So this flow, I made the next one be the get access. You don't have to do that. You can go straight to the checkout piece, but I added a piece where I didn't let anyone buy. I made them click a button to give me their email uh, to let me send them the invite. Now, if they decide not to buy after they've gotten that invite, that's okay, because I still now have their email. I can put them in a slow drip, I can do a lot. So. I went from one stop to another. And here we go, you know, you can see this. You remember this one? This was the registration with the button click. And you remember that when I click on that button, this other piece comes up, that's Convert Pro, right? So Convert Pro is over here, right? And I come into Convert Pro, I take a look, here's the request invitation. I get to design that, right? And then what you'll notice is when I get into this configure, I only want it to show up on click and I say, copy this link code. And I take that link code, right? And when I take that link code, I can come back to my flow, right? And in my flow, I can say, hey, that link, right? That, 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 pull that up is what I'm gonna put in this guy, right? When I'm talking about, hey, making that page, right? So I come in here, if I'm, if I'm creating that page and I said, hey, uh, click that button, when I wanna mess with that button, right? and make that happen, I can come back over here, right? And I can say, let's go into my, uh, I think it's advanced, right? Or actually, no, it was over here in advanced, right? In the class ID, right? I can put I can put the term that I want to cause that button to bounce up, right? To, to cause that button to trigger the pop-up, right? So that's what plays there. And then of course, with uh, with that product, right? We'll come back over here and take a look. With Convert Pro, right, I can go in and do the settings to connect to my Convert Kit, right? And says, okay, bind this, fill out this form, bind it over to Convert Kit, send it out, use Convert Kit to send the email back, right? I get that running. And what that's going to do is bring me back to my flow, right? And that's the pricing one, right? So here was this guy. You'll remember this one, right? This guy, also has that place order button, but it has this one right here. And you're like, how did you get that there, right? Well, when I go in here and I go to edit this, even though you can edit the visuals, at the bottom you get this, hey, first, what product are you trying to sell, right? Do you want to add a coupon or not? And it works with all WooCommerce coupons. Then 
What order bump are you doing? Pick the style of the display. What's the actual product? Add the image, put in the text, right? Decide you want to do a discount so that it should go 69 to 39, right? Um, you can design all this stuff. And you can also go, okay, let's do the checkout, right? Do we want the one column or do we want the two column, right? What's the colors? Do we want to deal with checkout fields, right? Enable some of this. I was taking all those off. I wanted less of those things, right? So Cardflows lets me pull all this together, right, into a flow. And then you'll notice, hey, if you're using Stripe or PayPal, and of course, my preference is Stripe, I can create upsells and downsells. And the beautiful thing, right, if you come in here, take a look at this upsell, right? Here you go, all right, here, this is, I'm adding the products. So I, this tool lets me take all those products I created, which by the way, when I come into these products, you'll notice if I take one of these products and I go over here into catalog, you know, catalog visibility, I don't want it in my shop or search results, I don't want it in my shop only, I don't want it in search, I want it hidden, right? The only tool that I want to use, right, this product is Cartflows. And cart flows will do it. It'll let me bind the upsell into this piece. It'll bind another product into the downsell. And the beauty of those one-click upsells and downsells is people aren't putting in their credit card information anymore, right? It's all running behind the scenes. It's automatically going through the flow. It's able to go back and re-trigger another authorization, another charge with Stripe without a person having to do any more work. That's how people do it. So if you're looking to do this, right, you can use cart flows. And if you want to do that little game of the pop-up, right, then you can use Convert Pro. There are other tools. Uh, you know, I'm a big fan of Ahoy, and you could you could do the same kind of uh, pop-up with Ahoy. Um, and you can do it with OptiMonster. So you got a lot of options, right? But in this particular example, I wanted to show you how to get more people to put more stuff in their cart by using cart flows.